Hello. I'm welcome. Favor. Welcome. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to the vlogs. This is day one, embarkation day of Oasis of the Seas, our seven day cruise to Nassau, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Labadee, Haiti, and St. Thomas. That's it, yes. Not necessarily in that order. Correct. <laughs> We're gonna try and go live at some point during this cruise once or twice. That'll be linked right up there if you'd like to see that. Also, if you wanna see outfits of the day, you wanna know what's in my swim bag. You wanna know what makeup I'm wearing. You wanna know what sweet Robert is wearing. All of that will be in the sneak peek, linked right up there for you. Now, let's get into this. I can just make it easy for you. T-shirt and shorts and tennis shoes. There you go. <laughs> Anyway, our children are on this cruise with us. So the vlogs on this cruise will be a little different. Uh, we, don't, we don't vlog our children. They ask for their privacy and we are elated that they are on this cruise with us. Yes. So we are going to give them all of that privacy while still vlogging. They're perfectly fine with us vlogging. And so we are going to continue to vlog the cruise. However, it just might not be as super long as my vlogs normally are. Okay. Now we are already on the ship, but this morning was a crazy morning, so I didn't have an opportunity to open the vlog. We didn't fly here today. We flew flew here a week ago. We were on Sky Princess, as Robert said. And last evening, we stayed at the Marriott Airport Hotel. Courtyard by Marriott. That one. <laughs> and uh, all of that's in the sneak peek. So if you're interested in it, it's in the sneak peek. So we arrived here this morning. We Ubered to the port. We always get that question. We Ubered to the port. The Uber was very full of all of us and our luggage. Um, so I didn't film any of that. We are just now opening the vlog after we've already gotten on the ship. So we're gonna take you back a little bit. We're gonna take you back to when we embark the ship, to where we go and get in our cabin, see the cabin, kind of walk around the ship a little bit. And we have the key and oh, we have yes. lunch yeah. from so, the uh, steakhouse. So, yeah, so Very all good. of that, yeah, you'll see all of that. It was really good today. Yes. It was actually much better than we've had before. So off we go. Here we are, we are at the terminal. We are about to board the ship. Just wrapped our luggage off with the porter. Here we go, lots of luggage coming on this ship. Super fast through check-in. There's check-in over there. And then here's to security, right here. Super fast, already through. Heading upstairs. There she is. Almost on the ship. Here we go. 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 Yes. On the ship. There she is. Hello. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, here we are. This is a busy ship. Oh my goodness. There's the boardwalk, there's the bar. Come come right here. Heidi? How many are you? Just two. Here. Just two of you? Just two. Uh, first of all, uh, you need to know, uh, this is how you wear your life jackets, okay? Mm -hmm. first, this is your life jackets. It's gonna be available sometimes in your room or sometimes available on the station. Okay, first separate the dupel perhaps of the jacket. Okay. Also, whenever you hear seven short blasts, one long blast, please come right here. This is where you have to come. Okay. And you're all done. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank you very much. I see you there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, muster is done. All you have to do is go to your muster station. They check you in. You watch a 30-second presentation on putting on your life jacket, and that is it. All right, so now what does that mean? The cruise can officially begin. Hashtag go to muster. We are on the ship. It was a whirlwind embarkation and now we are in the dining room. Which one? I'm not sure yet. Aft, 
I think we're aft. And we have the key. We did purchase the key, so we are having lunch today. So, Chop Squirrel lunch. It's a limited menu, but it is delicious, and I'll show you along the way. Okay. Well, here is my Caesar salad, and look, they brought me some toasted gluten-free bread. That's so sweet. I always appreciate that. And here is my filet mignon and some asparagus. Robert, what did you get? A burger and I got a fries. Burger, burger and fries. Delicious. Lunch was delicious. So now, I believe cabins are ready. So we're gonna go find our cabin. Before we head to our cabin, here's a little, oh, look, you can come out here. Oh, how cute. So you see the little balcony on the other side, right here on deck nine? That is where we are currently. So cool. Here is Central Park, one of my most favorite spots on the ship. Here is our cabin. Robert's gonna pull out our key and I'll run you through just real quick. We don't do formal room tours anymore. There she is. She's a cabin. Oh, we have the key, so we have fruit. All right, so you have three plugs here. This here, is there anything down here? Yeah, nice little cabinet there. All right. Go open cabin. Some of our luggage is in here already from the key. All right, here we go. And here is the bathroom. There we go. Right. And the drawer here. And there we go. And here is the shower. Of course, no curtain, which I know is much appreciated by many. And some hooks on the door. And there we go. Awesome. Okay. So here's our cabin. And here is our balcony. It's a pretty good size. Uh, it's open currently. I'm sure they'll close that. But there we go. Nice size. And then there is Miami out there in the distance. Norwegian's uh, port. Norwegian's port right here. We are aft, so uh, this will be our view sailing out. We'll get to sail past this, not the other side, and that's perfectly fine. We have returned to the promenade just to kind of check it out and give you a little bit of a view of how many people. This is spring break, so I would imagine for the United States, uh, mostly for Florida and Texas, but this is the most popular week of spring break, for spring break in America. So. It's, uh, it's going to be a busy ship. and get your cup for the week. We will definitely be going into one of these shops. All of the shops, are you kidding? All of them. Valero Spotlight, very, very similar to uh, Symphony. Here's the pool deck. restaurant we will definitely be dining here I'm very excited to give this a try I popped the menu up on the screen for you so you can see it 
All right, full aft, here we are with the putt putt. You can see the abyss back there and the zip line is right here. This is quite the happening deck. So maybe on a day when it's not so busy, we'll come back through. Well, we are full aft now. We are up here on deck, what is it? 16, 17, 18? And there's the abyss right there. And look at our view. How amazing is that? All the ships in port today are from the horizon down there. Beautiful, beautiful views. So beautiful. Sail away, it'll be in a couple of hours. And here is the boardwalk. Oh, it's so fun. There's Playmakers. Let's see. Playmakers is quite large on this ship. We have Johnny Rockets, the Abyss, and we have the Aqua Theater. Do not miss the Aqua Show. It is outstanding. This ship is rocking. <laughs> so we are headed down to the dining room, deck three. We have anytime dining. So we're gonna head down to the dining room and grab some dinner. <laughs> My kids are laughing because the ship is literally going back and forth and they've never experienced that before. <laughs> so, and this is a big old ship to rock back and forth. <laughs> As we said, it's drunk without drinking. <laughs> we have a bit of a line. The app would not allow us to make reservations for dinner this evening. So we're in the line for no reservations, but some people obviously were able to make reservations. So we're gonna have to figure it out, but we're gonna ask for a standing reservation every day. That way we don't have to worry about it. Um, I did not realize we had any time dining. That's not really my favorite to have on a royal ship. Carnival, no problem, but not, <laughs> we're, we're rocking and rolling, not a royal ship. So we'll see, we'll see what ends up happening here and where we end up. I'll let you know. That wasn't too bad. About seven minutes in line. Oh my goodness gracious, this ship is packed. We have not seen this many people in a dining room since the return to cruising. I I'm not even kidding. So, um, yeah, you can definitely tell this is spring break. So we have requested that we have uh, dining at the same time every night. They can't find our table. One second. All right, here is our table, 139. Free bread last sailing in this sailing. No problem. They had a, like a bun or something at lunch today, which is was delicious. I had no problem with that. So um, here is the start of my dinner. Got a cheese plate this evening, and I do believe I have a Waldorf salad coming as well. And one of my very favorite Waldorf salad. I discovered it on I think it was Symphony of the Seas, and I cannot get enough of it. Thank you. Enjoy everyone. Bon Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So the kids got fried chicken, and I got my absolute favorite, which is salmon. This salmon on this ship, and this, like the stuff it sits in, I forget what it is. It, it, you've seen it in the menu. It is so good. I love it. <laughs> Spaghetti with butter, because that's what you love. Yep, I'm not really that hungry. But you know what? How many people tell us in the comments they like to do the same thing? So it's very popular that he's a picky eater. There's lots of people who are picky eaters and I understand. 
I'll eat everything. I just can't. <laughs> and to finish this evening, I have a cappuccino coming in this. Thank, thank you. In this delicious, delicious fruit plate. You all know how much I love my fruit. It's so yummy. The aqua show has been canceled this evening due to the high winds. This ship is rocking back and forth. So they're showing a movie here. It's very nice. But we have rebooked the aqua show for another night. My most favorite part of the ship, Central Park. It's so beautiful, quiet, peaceful. You can come out here, read a book, relax. It's quiet. And as you guys know, we enjoy spots on the ship that are super duper quiet. And in the evening, it is even nicer out here. I just love it. So our kids have a balcony here on Central Park. Their cabin looks identical to ours. It just has a balcony on Central Park. And uh, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. There is my favorite, favorite park cafe. Central Park Library. Oh, that's nice. We're gonna have to go in there and kind of see what's in here. Nice little quiet spot. And then right down here, you can of course see Boleros and the Promenade right there. We have Tiffany and Co. So beautiful. They have sponsors. John Hardy and Trend. And here is the Central Park balcony in the evening. So you can hear just how quiet it is and how beautiful it is. It's very windy tonight. This is a great balcony. Really, really nice. And it's nice and peaceful tonight. But when you go in the balcony, even when there's music playing and you shut the door, you can hear nothing. It's great. The doors are very well insulated. 10 30. Yes, late night. It is a late night for us. It was an exciting embarkation day. Amazing. It really was. It was our kids' first time on an Oasis class or Oasis ship, and they thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Yes. Yes. So it's gonna be a fun week. It really is. I love the excitement and the wonder on their. I just I love it. It's it's and they're grown up. They're 30, <laughs> so <laughs> they're having a blast. So yes, tomorrow is NASA, and they have an excursion first thing in the morning. I can't film it. Nobody would I, even if they would let me. I couldn't. It, they're swimming with the dolphin, and uh, we are going to be in Blue Lagoon, mm -hmm. and we're very excited about that. And uh, I don't know what the weather's going to be like, so I'm just going to bring jackets, and we'll just we'll deal with it. So this wind, this wind that has swept the U.S. and everywhere the last two weeks has just really Unreal. it's been very it's really and it's made it quite chilly when you're wet. <laughs> So it's not really allowing, because it's been so overcast, the water really isn't heating up yet. Um, so it's going to be a little chilly, I think. That's okay. And we have a chance of rain? 50% chance of rain. Yeah. So We're going to make the best of it. High of 77 with it cloudy and rainy, most likely. So yeah. hey, we'll see. We're going to be wet in the water anyway. Yep. We'll make the best of it. So thank you so much for joining us on this embarkation day. And... Uh, yeah, we got seven more days ahead of us, so don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, or in the next one. Good night. I packed my bags and now I'm gone. Somewhere.